Tell Buari that Nigeria is dangerous, unsafe. French activist writes U.S. Secretary of State, blinking ahead of his visit. Hello, wonderful people. Welcome back to our channel. How are you all doing? Hope you are doing great. God bless you for stopping by. God bless you for being part of this channel, guys. You can recall that on our previous vis video, we brought to you a news that the Secretary of State want to visit uh, two countries, which Nigeria is one among them. And as we speak, the plan is ongoing for U.S. Secretary of State to visit Nigeria. But it can interest you that if you think that people don't know what is happening, the Westerners don't know what is happening in Nigeria. You are just telling that, but just the, the truth of the matter is that those of them that has a vast interest on Nigeria are sitting on the truth. No matter the truth and the evidences that has been coming out, they choose to sit on it because of their interest in Nigeria. If not so, why have, what do they call this uh, 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 news agency that is CNN? Yeah. The popular CNN you and I used to know, why have they not carried the things happening in Nigeria? Why have, not, why have they not invited anybody that has been speaking the truth in that country to CNN to at least know what is happening? If you might judge it that way, when Obodaya Malafia was saying all these things happening today, has the CNN or any of this country, have they been able to call this man and said, Tell us more. We want to know what is happening. What's going to was they will just, you know, take him, give him amnesty in one of the countries so that he would be protected. You know, but these people kept quiet. They sat on this matter until Malafia Obadiah was killed. He was just buried some weeks, uh, some days ago. And you want people to continue to speak out. And as they speak out, they keep killing them. The other day, it was Dunke Oyimake, who has been speaking hard on the government of the evil, atrocities going on. They silenced that one as well by taking him to the world beyond. And all these things have been happening, all these shenanigans have been happening, and they think that keeping quiet is sitting on people's blood as they, as they, as they take their own interest in that country is the best. No, 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 no. They are taking those things, building their country with blood money. And eventually, they will never live to, to, to gain the, the dividends of that blood money. Anyway, guys, I just dived into this video. But before we go on, I will crave your indulgence to subscribe to this channel if you've not done so. Help us hit the like button and on your bell notification if you've not done so. God bless you and as we get the details of this news. Let's go there. Every Joy, an anti-corruption activist and co-founder Corruption Hunters Network, says Nigerian's corruption fighters are working and operating in an unsafe environment. Joy disclosed this in an open letter to the United States Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken, on his visit to Nigeria. Blinken is expected to visit Kenya. Nigeria and Senegal from November 15th to 22 under call the depth and the brief of the country's relationship with African partner. Joy asked the U.S. Secretary of State to tell President Muhammad Buhari during their meeting to ensure Nigerian's corruption fighters have a safe and open operating environment in which to carry out their vitally important work. Too many corruption fighters has already suffered from the absence of such an environment. From Matis journalists and to the rest of them, even to the anti Rwanda corruption lawyer and all the rest of them. Head of the Offenses for Nigeria Economic and Financial Crime Commissioner, these are just a few of the many killed in the line of duty, she said. As you prepare to meet with Nigerian President Mohamed Buhari, you should know that Nigeria is an especially dangerous for, for place of corruption and its fighters for Muzu is openly and only the EFCC 
stars who lost their life fighting corruption in Nigeria indeed. <laughs> Nuhul, the EFCC first chair, and Ibrahim Magu, the most recent past chairman, with the barely survived assassination attempt in Rabiu's case. I want to pause here. I want to address this our brother or this our sister. It's a brother that is writing this letter. I want to tell him that these people, especially in Nigeria, I am talking about categorically. These people he is mentioning that died in front of fighting corruption. They are corruption personified. Oh yes, you had me right. Are you talking about Magu? That has emasculated a, a, a word for himself all over the Nigerian United Arab Emirates and all the rest of them. Where did he get the money? What is his salary per month? What is his salary per annum that will make him to emasculate all those words that we had a lot of houses? So many things sit from people they, they they shared it among them. And you are talking about the people that died in in, in front of fighting corruption really do you mean it i guess you are kidding me let's continue in nigeria when the bullet miss their target the corrupt turn to what anti-corruption campaign and stand as <laughs> lawfare the abusive use of the law for political ends in rabu's case it was a reassignment to one year training program at an institution where he was a frequent lecturer and which among the other things meant he was no longer entitled to protection by the state security services rabu then resigned from service and continued to speak out against corruption in nigeria story the rabu's experience apparently tied that the forces of the corruption in nigeria that just forcing a corruption and eat fighters from office was not enough. The lawfare campaign against Magu is being waged at a whole new level at the time when the EFCC was reportedly investigating the current attorney general for corruption. Magu was picked up by the police and detained for alleged corruption. Allegation that has already been investigated and dismissed three years previously. Guys, he wrote quite a lot but in summary but in summary corruption fighters in nigeria are the main corru uh, corrupt people what i'm taking out for you in this news is this if the westerners can recognize that nigeria is dangerously dangerous now as we speak that there is no security okay that it is unsafe what are they doing over this and to you thinking about going to nigeria or coming back to nigeria to establish yourself one thing and one thing or the other you better keep managing yourself either until biafra comes or the government moves out and let's see if we can get a fairer but for me as long as i'm concerned biafra is all the 